partner, Mako Meta, and Bruce Lee. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 31, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment You've all been waiting for! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner! This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the challenger, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of. 29 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Imago Meda. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Tonight, a fight that has been in our dreams now becomes reality. Habib Nurmagomedov versus the great Bruce Lee. It's unbelievable that we finally get Habib versus Bruce Lee. How does Bruce Lee keep this fight standing? How does Bruce Lee keep Habib Nurmagomedov off of his legs? We know that he has the movement. We know that he has the ability. But how does he implement that into a mixed martial arts fight against one of the greatest fighters of all time? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All oh, collar tie. Big all punch land. Now let's get back to the ring. Nice leg kick land. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination. Well done.
down to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Nurmagomedov. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Taken down here by Nurmagomedov. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Trying to get that arm underneath the chin. Oh, wow. Just be a matter of time. And there it is! Wow! What a performance! Yeah, that is high-level grappling right there as he gets the win tonight here by way of submission. And he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it was there, he certainly capitalized to get the tap here tonight. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance. And that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And Still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here.